Right. To the ZANU PF leaders in Zimbabwe, I have something very important to say to you. If I remember clearly, Zimbabwe was a well and old country which you have reduced to beggary because of your bad governance. You are the source of all the problems and the sufferings which many Zimbabweans are facing today. I ask you, where are the 2.2 million jobs you promised us during the 2013 elections? You have failed to create a single job, but you have created million vendors. What happened to the missing 15 billion US dollars from our natural resources? Please, we beg you, stop abusing our natural resources for your own benefits, which are meant to develop the country. So many things need to be done in Zimbabwe, but it seems you are neglecting them all. And to you, the Vice President, stop using taxpayers' money and patience so that you and your family can stay in a luxurious hotel. We know you have been staying in that hotel since the 14th of December 2014, and you have used over 200,000 taxpayers' money. What kind of a leader stays in a hotel when the country is in dire financial constraints? Currently, the country is now facing shortages of cash, and people are standing long hours in queues trying to get their hard-earned cash, which you have all looted away to buy yourself expensive cars, expensive houses. And to you, Kazukwere, where did you get all that money to buy a 50-bedroom house? It shows that all you care about is to get in power, but once you are in power, and once we have voted for you, you fail to deliver the promises of the people. Robert Mugabe, you are now a visitor in your own country. You spend so much time and money traveling outside instead of focusing your attention to the sanity of this country. This month marks 16 months since the disappearance of Itai Zamath, a journalist and an activist who was only trying to fight for justice in this country. I asked you, Zanupiev, what happened to Itai Zamath? You should account for Itai Zamara and you should order for the release of the young activists you took away from Occupy Africa Unity Square. We have continued to watch you over these past few years and up to today as you brutally made our young people's lives. We, we think we don't know what you did to Roy Issa. We think we don't know that you made a Roy Issa and you plotted his death as if he committed suicide and fell from the seventh floor of the hotel. I now call upon Robert Mugabe and your entire cabinet to step down from power to pave way for the progress of this nation and the betterment of people's lives. You have done enough damage in this country and to say enough is enough in that shadow. And to you young Zimbabweans, I encourage you to support in every way you can as we fight poverty, as we fight corruption, as we remove this useless government from power. And we say enough is enough. We are tired of your madness and OPF. We are tired of all the promises which, your fake promises which you have told us. And all oh yes, we are the young people of this nation. We are going to see to it that Zimbabwe is in its rightful place. Thank you very much.